Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147, the legacy of the Metal Wars, when man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dredd's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Database Journal 4711 Mark III. Scout recording. Pilot and the Captain have obtained an important data tape concerning Project New Order. They were reporting in when suddenly the transmission stopped. Position. Dispatch Blaster. I want that data tape. And Captain Power. Pilot, anyone you can walk away from. Yeah. Ow. Oh. I take it back. You're not walking anywhere with that. All right. There's a water station northeast of here, an oasis. They've helped resistance people before. You get there. Well, I'm not gonna leave you here. I got some reserve power in my suit. I'm going to carry it. You never make it. You have to get the tape to Mentor. What if... That's an order. Now help me get back there. Oh. I trust you to pull rank. Oh. All right. I'll manage. Get going. I'll be back soon. Who's ready? Take that. Excuse me. I need your help. You. It's you. What's the matter with She's you? She's the one. She's the one who burned Sandtown. Kill her. Kill her. Hey, let go! You have been gathered to witness the punishment 
of those who oppose the will of the machine. This is the shelter of those who oppose the way. What do we do with those who oppose the way? Cleanse them. Cleanse them. Judgment has been rendered. The accused have been found. Let them be cleansed now and for all time. Fire! Today, youth leader Chase. She's the one who burnt Santam. Kill her. Kill her. They burned my family. My, my family. God, what are you doing? My family. I lost my family in Sandtown. Is this how we treat human life in Oasis? Blake, what's going on? Randall says she was responsible for Sandtown. Sandtown was years ago. Randall was just a boy. Could be mistaken. I was there too, uh, and so was she. <laughs> Kill her. I'm not a spy. I promise you, I'm not a spy. I, I'm a resistance fighter for Captain Power's team. He's injured very badly. I need your help. Can you please send someone to help him, please? Captain Power? Yes, we've heard of him. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Dreadheads never change. Kill her. Kill her. We're not like dread. We're human beings. Precious few of us left. If this woman is guilty of something, we'll deal with it like human beings. According to our law. A tribunal. Yes. That's fair. We'll gather now in the main hall for a trial. Will you accept our judgment? Uh, if you send someone to help Captain Power. It's five miles southeast of here. I will do what you say. Martin, Jack, take a crawler, see what you can find out there. Right. <sighs> Not the greatest rest stop I've ever been to. Sorry, but I need a drink. your story exactly as you remember it. um it, it was summer uh, very hot so we worked in the fields at night i was putting in a row of corn when suddenly there was uncle galen i was surprised because they'd taken him away a week before to a slave camp he said he'd escaped um that he had to see father right away to to warn him so we, 
So we started back to Sandtown. When we got to my house, they were there. Then she pointed to my house. and said something to the over unit. They were smiling. Smiling as if it, as if it was some kind of joke. And then. We have located the radio and our proceeding is planned. They burned my family. She burned them! That's all, Randall. Then back up. No need. Do you confirm your nephew's story? Is this the woman he saw? Yes, she was there. And is she the one responsible? Who can say? She was no over-unit. She was a child spouting slogans. She couldn't have known what was going to happen. I mean, no one could have. To judge her now in these times, who knows? Jennifer Chase, you've heard what's been said. What do you say in your defense? It's true, I was in the Dread Youth. And I was in Sandtown. You see, she admits it. Silence. This is a human being. She'll have her say before we judge her. There's something you have to understand. I never had a family. The dread youth was my family. It was my whole world. There was nothing else. From the day that I was born, I never knew about having parents or friends. About feelings and love. I knew nothing about being human. I served the machine. And I was so proud to be youth leader Chase. And I knew all my lessons. And I knew my destiny as part of the new order. But there's something else you have to understand. That night, everything that I knew and it fell apart into the lie that it is. I wanted to shout out. I wanted to stop them. If I could have told you that I didn't know, I didn't realize what was going to happen. That night I, I did. I saw the true meaning of the slogans and the uniform that I was wearing. And I, t I started a journey. And it later led me to Captain Power. 
And he has taught me what it is to be human. Things that I never knew. If I could go back and change that night, I would. But I can't. And I try every day of my life to make up for it. Do you see what she's doing? Randall. She's trying to train us with her words Stop. and lies. This girl's blood can't bring back the dead. Please. Please. Please stop. Please. Stop, please. I'll tell you. The radio's in Santa. Santa. Please, stop. We've heard the testimony. Irvin, Irvin. Biodread warlord, it's on its way. Jack and Martin are dead. They find Captain Power? I don't know. All non-combatants evacuated once. Everyone else prepared to defend Oasis. Wait! What about her? The tribunal isn't over yet. You've got to pass sentence. Don't you know that she's the one who brought the machines here? She's guilty. Your judgment, Galen. Do it, Uncle. Randall, stop, please. Stop, please. Stop, please. It was you, wasn't it? I'll tell you. Uncle Galen. What is it? I can't help. I know how to fight biodreads. You can't! She's got to pay! No, boy, no. She's not the guilty one. I am. Power on! Power level. 10% of maximum and drop into possible system disruption. Recharge immediately. Well, it'll have to do. short circuit. Speak or die. No! <laughs> Pilot! He told them about the transmitter. He tortured them and he told them. He didn't want me to have innocent blood on my hands. What do we do now? You'll have to leave. Dread will send others. The captain and I can help you. You're going to have to gather your people quickly. Look, about the tribunal. Let's just say it's a debt been paid.
there's anything you need. Thank you. I just want to say... I'm sorry. We both have things to be sorry for, Randall. We're going to bury them here, all right? Closing in on Brett. Watch for base stations. Visibility down. Going to scanning systems. Activated. Check energy now. We took a few hits, but we've still got plenty of power. Energy systems full. 